home, auto, business insurance. Um, so hold on, let me tell you, and we'll talk more about this okay. in a minute. But the segment, <laughs> what to do when you are making a purchase. Yes. So if you're gonna buy a house, buy a car, buy a boat, buy a trailer, buy a motorcycle, right. all the things that you might buy that you want coverage on. Yes. So what do you do when? So let's get to that and then we'll come back to my oh, trauma. Look at all this trauma. <laughs> so <laughs> each item is gonna be a little different, but don't assume that when you're calling in, like people are like, oh, they in insurance, they, they know exactly what it mean. No, if a client calls to say, oh, I bought a boat today, no, I need to know everything. Dakota doesn't own a boat. So I don't know how many engines a certain boat has. I don't know boat types. I don't know boat materials. I don't know engine horsepower. I don't know inland, mainland coat. I don't know, okay? I don't know. I don't know what extra uh, customized stuff you keep on this boat. I don't know if you're living on, you know what I'm saying? Like don't assume that just because I'm in the insurance industry that I am fluent, like know everything specific specialty for that item. Cause those are specialty items. Right. Even cars, like they'd be like, you know, the blue one. What blue one, baby? <laughs> what blue one? So, you know, try to have all your facts in order. Like, uh, definitely, when are you purchasing the, the the item? Oh my goodness, people do not know when they about to buy something. They swear, you know, in the next couple of days. Okay, today or Friday or next Thursday. Have the date, people, just have the date. If it's a car, have the VIN number. Um, have the VIN. Have the VIN number. Have if you are financing it, whether there's a lost payee or leaseholder. Um, have who the, who the vehicle's gonna be titled in have if you are going to add a driver for the new vehicle that you added so you i'm adding a new vehicle because little susie got a driver's license let me know that too all those things go together people do that all the time it's like oh i thought you knew susie had turned 16 today it's her birthday where's it gonna stay right? exactly that's a big one too. that's a good oh, look at terry 79 percent baby learned. tell us where you're gonna garage it tell us what you're gonna use it for is this for business use just personal use it, are you sending it to school with your children? You know, just tell us more stuff. Um, in a house, it's gonna be a little bit more specific. What's the closing date? Um, are you financing the home? Everything about the home, not just the address. It's gonna be some stuff we need that can get you discounts. Yeah. Utilities, when were they updated? New roof, um, is it in the gated community? Terry, know about this. Uh, do you have pets at this home? Is there a pool at this? You know, it's just going to be a laundry list. Be prepared to answer more questions than, oh, yeah, I'm moving on Orchard Lake. No, you're not. Okay. okay. Well, well, what you moving in? Do you know some people call to get insurance and they don't know, they don't think or realize that it matters to us if they buying or leasing or just renting something? They, they, like a they home. Just moving. They, 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 I'm they just we moving. got a new house. They, they, back up. We Hold just up. moving. They don't know. They don't know. I'm not really sure of the address. I, I, baby, that's a three digit address. Exactly. And all those houses have a four digit exactly. address. Exactly. Tell us something. A, a big purchase like an RV, that's a luxury item. Most, most, if you start getting in the larger size, we're talking about like a um, fifth wheeler or something like that, or a little trailer, but an actual RV. That's just like buying a house. Right. You know, we need to know the value of it. We need to know what's there. How many months are you traveling in it? How many months are you storing it? Are you keeping it um, permanently at a um, campground? You know, stuff like that. Are you renting it out on the weekends like an Airbnb exactly. but an Air RV? Yeah. I almost did one of them.